Batuka, batuka to see. Ina yongi pitu, mwenda kuti ya gese. Makesa mafalu, makesa mafalu. Ima tu, yoma kuvala mokuna muamwaki. Okay. <laughs> batuka kuti, ina yongi pitu. Mukwenda kuti ya kese. Sorry, Nobi, I have a testimony as well. Okay, I yes. The, I do see too. the stick. There's a stick that I'm holding in my hand. Mm, um, I, we can't see the stick because of your background. Sorry, let me change it. Stick. Um... So a few weeks ago, I went to my neighbor's house and I thought I was just dropping off cake. But then they had a visitor there, an uncle, and he was very weak in body. Um, he was very quiet. He even talking took a lot of energy from him. And actually, I was actually on a Zoom with some of our uh, people on Kintuadi, Bantu Tokuis Youth. And... Um, he was really weak. And so we decided to pray for him. So everyone was on the Zoom was praying. And then the Mwanda told us to go and get wood <laughs> from the garden. And I thought my neighbors, I thought they were going to say something, but they're Ugandan, but they went to go get it. They were very like open. They didn't ask like, who are these people? Why are they <laughs> saying? Because I was getting ready to get water and salt but um they said so the my neighbor went to go get a stick from the garden and then we started praying the moanda told us to put the stick like on his spine in the areas of like contact with his skin and then it was me who was putting it on and i felt the the heat the wood getting hotter and hotter um and he as we were praying we kept on asking how he is, you know, where's the pain now? And then he would say, okay, I don't, the pain now is on my spine, but I don't feel it anywhere else in my body. His whole body was weak. And then we prayed again on the spine with the wood. And he said afterwards, he was really, really shocked to the uncle, but he said he felt much, much better. And he even held his hands like this at one point. Um, the Moanda was moving very heavily through Mama Lorinda. So she asked him to do this and he held up his hands like this for like five, 10, very long time. And then afterwards, my neighbor said he couldn't even do this. The fact that he was doing this, you know, she was like, he was so weak. He could never have done something like that. So I'd like to thank the Zambi. That was a very interesting lesson also for me. Um, I mentioned, Nabi, I know you said that um, the that Zambi also heals with earth. And so this was my first example of, of that. And yeah, I'd like to find out more about that. But my neighbors are very grateful. Yeah. Oh, and they heard about that on Zambi. Mm. Oh, praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, very, very that you mentioned this and that you give this testimony. We, <clears throat> we take even sicknesses into clothing, uh, we, we throw your sicknesses into clothing, money, um, trees, whatever. You put it there and then you throw it away or you burn it or whatever, which means that the sickness <laughs> en entered into the, the tree. And also if you do want to do like a, a huge healing or whatever, you can take the energy from a plant, you take it, and then you give it to the people. Yes, I, I guess I should throw this away then. That's what I always say. Yeah. You know, it's not. It is not written in the Bible. And I think I will today. We're gonna also hear some things that is not written in the Bible. But people will be like, okay, now understood. Yeah, you know, we have to be very careful uh, with the things that we say. You know, you are in the Bantu Tokwish youth. They know some things. You know, and the Mwanda is there. 
and this is why why you understand those things easier but now you're going to somewhere to a christian church and you say those things then you're a sorcerer and you are young you know and uh, no one wants to call this the spatial sorcerer you know so that's why you always very very careful to whom you share uh, whom right. you want to heal or help you know the world is not so good <laughs> now hello hey soldier everything okay yes you sound you sound like the rock dwayne johnson now my goodness <laughs> <laughs> that's what yeah, yeah i have deja vu <laughs> oh. he had a deja vu yep oh. i got deja vu when i go to sleep oh wow okay I'm dreaming about stuff, and now it's coming true. I have deja vu now. I just turned six. I just yeah. turned six. You see, wow. the, 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 the thing is that uh, some people are smarter than we are, so I can't say anything to that now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Set twenty, put only. Kujoni kumosi tu kwenda Embanza ino we Embanza belela Yeah, yes, young family Yenge um, Yeah, I give glory to Tata Zambe uh, uh, Last Sunday's prayers After we had them I had a um, revelation that morning, uh, Mondays, uh, morning 5 a.m. I saw I was with a group of people and uh, we were all black and we were going to a, a destination, but I, I wasn't sure where, uh, in the dream, it was, I wasn't sure where we were going, but I knew we were going somewhere, or all, all of us together. And there were people who were in charge of us to know, to make sure that um, we are ready for the journey. And we had uh, vehicles, which were individual. Everybody had an individual vehicle, which is not like the vehicles we have today. It was special and it was just for you alone. And um, when the time came to start you know, going, um, as I was about to sit down, I realized my seat belt because he had special seat belt which which were like um clapped together like a, a baby strollers. And one of the uh, person who was in charge of us said to me, Josephine, where do you think you are going when you have not, you know, um released your seat belt? And I was just laughing, smiling because I knew I needed to do that. So I started, you know, just pressing and all the belts were set free. And as I sat down for us to, to go, because these vehicles were automatic, you didn't have to touch anything. They knew where we are going. As I sat down to start the journey, I woke up in Gata. No praises. No praises. And what do you think about that dream? Um, I think I was being um, my ways which I'm blocked because I've got so many blockages in my life. And uh, I think um, the ways were being opened when I was pressing this belt, it, my ways were being opened, um, being prepared for the, you know, breakthroughs and the journey or to my destiny. That's what I thought of it. So Hallelujah. Yeah, so I have a question. So you you got into the car and you were going somewhere, or traveling into a particular place. Yeah, we were we were group like the way we had in assembly. It's like yeah. the people I knew them. It's like we were in assembly, and we were going to a destination. All of us somewhere we were going. All of us the same place, mm. and we had uh, people who were in charge of us to make sure to mount us to make sure that we are ready and. Um, uh, to make sure by the time everybody's ready. So we all got ready. And when the, they were the one who decided when we leave. And when we started leaving, everybody was sitting on their vehicle. 
to leave. But mine, you know, the seat belts were still uh, stuck. I mean, we are still attached to this. I mean, it like it was like a baby stroller because it was only a single seat, and uh, all the people were in charge. Of course, they knew that. He said to me, "Josephine, where do you think you are going when, you know, your belt are still, you know, attached? You need to, you know." I knew what he was saying. And it's he opened. Said, yes. Yeah. And I opened, and then I knew I knew I was ready. And it as I started. <laughs> Then I said, start now to go. Then that's when I woke up. But this vehicles were automatic. You didn't have to drive anywhere. They knew where we were going. It was yes. just, yeah. Nice, very yeah. nice. Get up. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, praises. Yeah, and just to add on that, um, since from that time, uh, Yayan gave us those rituals to do the to to do the, the washing with garlic with the sand leaf and all that uh i started doing that and i i've been actually struggling with um a man of the night and for the first time when i had those rituals in the dream i was uh, uh, approached by a man and i could see he wanted me and i challenged him in the dream and i've never been able in a position in the past to do that. And I told him, just go away, never come near me, don't touch me, you are just disgusting. And the man went and, uh, um, you know, I never got to see them come back. So I hope this is a deliverance for, which is going to be permanent. So that was another, yeah, that's another, you know, testimony, I would say, yeah. Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. 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 One thing I would say, the sister, though, is, uh, you can still do that ritual once in a while, you know, it's not just yeah. one. Yeah, 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 not once. I'm actually actually doing once in a while. It's something I want to be doing regularly. Yes, yes. yes yeah. definitely. Congrats. That's fantastic. Yeah, you fantastic. get it. Yeah. Yeah, it's important to fight evil. Mm. Yeah, today you're going to hear what we are going to say to that. It will be funny. Sister Joy. See me, see me, family. Yenge. Yes, Yenge. I'm going to, to, to say about my experience the day we had the prayers. I had a very... I don't know how I can describe this, but it, it was so powerful, just that I couldn't even stand. Or when we were told, we were jumping, I couldn't jump because it's like my own body was like gone. Like I can't describe what I felt. I couldn't stand, I couldn't uh, do anything, but it was, good i was feeling so good and even now i feel the same i'm still in that kind of room that, like there is glory of that zombie that i feel around me and when we were going on with the prayers i had done my my turn go around here, I put in my plants, I put everything, but before the prayer, the day came, I had been burning my incense all around my house and sprinkling the salty water around all cleansing my, my room and my house. So it was so powerful and still I'm in that power, I feel that power of the most high. Yeah. Oh, praise the sister. Thank you for your testimony. Oh, 
my yeah. testimony is uh, is something that happened uh, in 2019. But before I go into the testimony, I want to share um, my understanding became clearer as I listened to um, some of the series on the element and the gift that um, the water, the air, the fire, and the earth brings, you know, comes with and what it does in our lives. You know, as a young uh, lady, when I was going to school, during my university days, I had an experience on my way to class, my lecture in the mid afternoon of in 1996, yes, I think 96. So I was walking to class and uh, it's a village. So you walk through the village into the school. As I was going, I was about to take a step and the wind came, a rushing wind came and it started from my feet area and it was like a wild wind. Not like it, it was a wild wind. And it, you know, that thing spilled, spilled round, round, round until it got far, far above my head. But I was not afraid. I was just amazed looking at this thing right in my front. And I waited there. I didn't move until the thing finished and collapsed on the floor. And it went ahead of me again and it repeated the same thing. So that was an experience I had as a young lady during the university days. So what happened on the, 20th, on the 20th of uh, October, 2019, I was, uh, we woke up in the morning and my young son was doing his chores. And in the living room, he saw feathers, bird feathers in my living room. And he screamed and said, mommy, what's this? How did bird feathers get into our home early in the morning? So I called my husband and we checked. You know, understand one thing, this is Africa. Things happen. They happen here, you know, a lot happened. So we cleaned it off and as usual, went about our normal show. Then on the 21st, being the next day, it was a Sunday. On the 21st of the next day, being a Monday, I took the kids to school. On my way to school, I decided to stop by at the, the local bakery before getting to school. And beside that bakery was um, like uh, a hostel for secondary school students. And their bosses were there, big bosses that would take about 50 students. And I parked just behind those two bosses. I opened the door and I was about going out. The next thing I remembered was that there was a force, a wind force that I could not explain. What got me back to myself was the scream that came out of, it's as if there were spectators everywhere waiting to see the events that happened. There, were, there was a bike man, then there were two other bike men carrying passengers that flew past me. That bike man was supposed to carry me. They were supposed to carry my dead body with, with you know, the handle of the, the hand of the car. But even the bike man and his passenger and everybody that heard didn't know what happened. Because it was like when you watch an avatar and the way it moves in those cartoons, that was what happened. The man was right like 10 feet with his bike. He didn't know what pushed his bike far. And I was still standing, complete, everything in order. I was, everybody looked at me and wondered in awe. It's as if the whole crowd was there just to see what had happened. So I, I, I was, I went to drop the children to school and I came back home. And I explained to my husband what happened. And we just praised, you know, God then. Then in the evening of that same day, at around 5 30 in the evening, my husband got a call from his stepmother in law that she was just panicking that ah, ah, your father is dead. That's my father in law. He's dead. He's dead. And she didn't know what happened. 
he was in the top, he went to take his bath, he slumped, and then the whole house is filled with water. She left the top, he's left the top on, and the whole buildings of uh, five, you know, five rooms were flooded, the whole ground floor was flooded. She was just panicking and everything. So immediately told my husband, both of us knew what happened. We knew what happened. That day, the spirit of death by this we knew was sent to me. And then I don't know when that's Maleki that the most high sent to, you know, to return that death with anger. That was why I couldn't even see the thing flew with anger. And the thing went back to where it was sent from. And the one who sent it didn't want to take it. So she gave it to my father-in-law. That was how my father-in-law passed. That is the kind of deliverance that the Most High gave me. I have many more testimonies about faith deliverance and all that. But why did I share this? I shared it because it was like an anniversary on the 21st, which was two days ago. And the Most High was reminding me of that miracle that I have to share now that I have, I'm beginning to get the better insight and understanding about how he works with the elements that I should let the brethren know that the power that he puts within us and that he uses to deliver his own, that he does not joke with us. You know, sometimes we are so filled with uh, tensions about challenges, about here, I live in Africa. It is the home of challenges, but you just have to be strong. He reminded me that in this challenge, in this pressure of you, you know, looking for this, trying to get this to happen, trying to make ends meet, the power of the Most High is readily available. And this is the power that the supernatural, you know, does. You know, as, as Growing up as Christians, there was there's something that the man that always does to me. As the more I try to learn what the spirit is telling me in the Christendom, the more the, the that vacuum is expanding. It is never filled. You can never understand the spirit when as a Christian. You can never never understand spirituality as a Christian, because the more you try to search it as a Christian, the more the space, because the mysteries of the Moanda are so amazing, so alive. You know, it leaves me, sometimes I, till today I'm still thinking, you know, remembering what happened. What, how did this thing happen? How? Who was this angel? Who was this Maleki? How did it happen? You know, I, I just want to share this testimony and to encourage everyone here that there's something about you. Your mind cannot fathom it yet, but there's something about you that no matter where they take you, no matter who you has a hand trying to twist those things about you, there is something big inside that when the time comes, it will bring out itself with that force. When the time for your malek is to move, it will come with such power that even you will know that this thing came just for you. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Hallelujah. 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 Salvation and Campbell. Honor and go low unto Tata and Zambi. But Tata and Zambi is mighty. But Tata and Zambi is an impotent. But that and zombie, yeah, he is wonderful. Hallelujah, salvation and Campbell, honor and go low unto Tata and zombie. 
Hallelujah. Salvation and Campbell. Honor and Golo unto Tata and Zambe. All praises be to unto Yeah, and uh, maybe I have a dream I want to share. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last night around three. AM, I, I had this in dream. I was walking with some people in some places. So these people started on leaving me. I started walking on by myself. I went to a, somewhere where there were two buildings, but I was looking for Bantus where they are worshiping. So I went to this building I met it is, uh, they are worshiping, but it was like all robots. Maybe you know that uh, charismatic evangelical church is all robots. And then I came out when I had the name it is for all robots. I came out and went looking for a building where our people are worshiping. Then I, I went in that building. When I went, I, I entered and uh, the people I met, they were sitting in a round, round, standing around uh, the, in a round or a circle. And then there, there was sick people here, people who are very ill. And then they were called inside that circle to be prayed for. So when the leader, we prayed for, for them casting the demons in the name of Tatanzambi and Pungu Tuledo. And then the leader said, said, have you seen the spirit of Jesus living? Because it's like the spirit of Jesus was the one that was making them to be healed. So the leader said, have you seen the spirit of Jesus is living? So I just woke up and yeah. yeah, it will be it will be a big war in 2022. This is also like, I was talking here with the with the Turk Turkish leader here in <clears throat> in Germany. Um, um, he's my uncle, by the way. I told him very clear, you know, because um, he 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 asked me um, how many times I was in church, and he asked me what is really going on in Angola, whatever, because uh, the some church leaders are dying. Uh, many, many church leaders died this year. Many, many church leaders died. It's not only TV Joshua. And uh, I say there's a judgment going on um, against the church because. Oh, oh, oh. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of 
we've been here almost three weeks now in Kenya and um, so many changes and everything for the good for one thing like uh, all your teachings uh, of late and everything especially talking about facing the east when you rise like uh, when you get up in the east um, you know wake up with your head facing the east and so like last this week um because my body's going through i call a healing crisis because of the change from the cold to the hot and the sun has been very healing and everything but anyways what i wanted to say was um i had um uh, one night because like all the mucus was like in my throat and everything and i know the malekis was helping what they did was revved up my internal um body temperature so that i wouldn't choke on the mucus or whatever and another time, and that same night, I saw, uh, I, I'm not sure if it was the ancestors or anything, but there were like five spirit beings that I saw that was with me. So, and then um, a couple nights ago, uh, I had a visitation where I was in the spirit, I was taken to the spirit world and there was all these beautiful colors and everything. And I was shown all these different things. And I keep saying, how am I gonna remember all this, right? So, but uh, it was, it was an amazing experience. And that's from facing the east, rising the east. And what's so beautiful in Africa, every single day, the sun rise, you know, where when I was in Canada, no, it's like darkness. And I also want to say, I had typed it in um, last week and everything. I, I did that because I couldn't really speak last week when I was in Kintwadi and stuff. But um, when I left, when I left, when the, when the, 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 when the airplane left Canadian waters and everything, there was like this huge spirit that that print, demon principality that's over the land, it was totally lifted off. It was totally gone. And you don't even realize, cause I mean, it was like this huge battle that we were going through, huge battle just to get here, huge, huge spiritual battle. But, but that was so profound <clears throat> because when we left Canadian waters, that spirit had no control. Not that it had, say, control over us per se, but there's that control and there's that, you know, demonic principality that's over the land. That was very clear and that was showed to me and everything. And um, yeah, so I could say more, but um, it's just been amazing. Thank you so much. The most high Tata, bless you. Sambu you so much because we, we've, we've been so blessed and um, for the teachings and everything. Tomorrow we're gonna go see an elder in the village. Um, she's a Bantu and she's uh, she practiced all the old, you know, the traditional spirituality and everything. And she, she can't wait to meet us to bless us and everything or whatever that she's gonna do and everything. But, just really wanted to share that and thank you so, so much. And thanks so much to all Kintuati family. Um, we've been so blessed and so enriched by your teaching. Um, Tatan and Zambi bless you tremendously. We pray for you every single day. Our spiritual um, awakening is so much more than we ever could, you know, I mean, I could say about myself, but I'm not going to speak about myself, but just wanted to say that. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Oh, praises. Thank you very much for this amazing testimony.
his praise, acknowledging him always. And all his people sing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 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 You get to see me, family. See me. How y'all doing? Hey. So I've been doing this fast. And um, the Most High has really been speaking, as well as the Holy Ancestors. So I've been seeking the um, Most High and the Ancestors on um, some future plans. And the Most High has really been dealing with me about ancestors, y'all, for real. So, um, <laughs> so there's um, my ancestors, they come to me in dreams. And um, they show me things that um, future plans for me and my family. And so I've seen the same plan twice in one week. So I can't really go into the details. Keep the most I've been dealing with you about this plan for two times in one week. So I definitely- What was the experience? Can, did, they, did, they, did they look like- uh... Uh, vampires or something like that or no they didn't they look like you and me they look like us so it was nothing to be afraid of at first I used to watch this um this show Ghost Whisper all the time I never watched it at night you know I, I was still in my little fear but since coming into spirituality the most I've asked the most I deal with me in my fear And so when I see the ancestors in these dreams, there's nothing to fear, really. Uh -huh. And I talk about ans holy ancestors on my uh, channel all the time. There's nothing to fear. And yeah, we I saw it. We on... saw it. Uh, we saw also. You, we, I saw it. I saw your video on uh, Brother Yakubi's uh, uh, channel. Very nice. Ah, blessings. Blessings. That's an honor. Um, <laughs> so, uh, when I did do that, uh, I, I kind of got, I kind of got a lot of feedback on that though. Uh, some people weren't agree with, you know, uh, that's, that's witchcraft and stuff like that. I was like, uh, all right, you know, you do you. No, But, the problem yeah, is that, the, the problem is that, uh, um, they give you, they, they come for you. They come to give you something, uh, information wisdom whatever they have you know there's a place um i didn't do that with the people when we went to the beulah land but two um village uh further there is a place there is a real big lake where the waterfalls where the water comes from the waterfalls and there there when you reach this area then you have to throw something in the water And then you have to tell to the water, show me what my ancestors have, uh, you know, have for me, you know. And if you look at it, then you will see them and they will start showing you under the water, like a, it will become like a, a, a mirror and it will show you uh, what your ancestors have for you. You know, so every one of us, yeah, this is, this, this is, this is how it is. Well, I was thinking. Hmm? Uh, so all praises. See anything in guess all praises. Very good, very good. Wow, nice I testimony. Also, I also, I also did some fasting, and uh, I, 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 um, I followed the instructions given to, for us uh, to call one particular ancestor, and I did, and uh, that uh, when I, I was, I was a bit nervous, you know, because I didn't know what it would look like, it would feel like. Um, but so when I went to bed, um, around three or four in the morning, and uh, I saw him. He came. It, it was like like a festival, like a, like a um, 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 yeah, an eagle carried me up, and then took me to I don't know where like a cemetery somewhere. Some you know I don't know where to the cemetery or somehow, but he bedded me with gold. The water was bedding me was gold. He said it's for protection, you know. And then it took me back to somewhere else place. And so it was the old, old, say about 30 minutes, you know, I experienced this ancestor that we called. Mm -hmm. It was calming, it was cool. I wasn't frightened. I was happy he was there. And so that, that wow. was soon, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. yeah, you are very sensible. Your body is very sensible to spirits. Me at the moment, they do not come, man, because they know that uh, after these attacks, what I will tell them above, you know, that, uh, <laughs> you know, I will, I will be myself. I will go up with fire, you know. So I know, I know how it works. Very good, very good. Zambio kutundanga botuzolana Sing a kindu sambula, votu zola na. Watu eku tikila, vuvu eku tundanga. Kewe kutu salanga, votu zola na. Zola na. Zola na. Zola na. Zola na. Wete wingi tunawa. Votu zola na. Fonye kere nikwe. Ibu chuku me ma. Ibu chime. Ibu chuku ibu imado. Ya abe mo. Ibu chuku ibu imado. Ibu choko ibu imado onye kere ni be ibu choko me ma ibu chime ibu choko. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Always nice to hear the man sings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, it will man and I. Dreams that came to walk with me, Lord. Kuna mieto mia tondanka. Dambi utu zolele. Dinsu kusambua. Hallelujah. All praises to God and Zambi. When my way groweth dread, Tatan zombie linger near. When my light is almost gone, hear my cry. Hear my call, hold my hand, lest I fall. Take my hand, Tatan Zambi, lead me on. 
Tatanzambi, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I am weak, and I am worn through the storm, through the night. Lead me on to the light. Take my hand, Tatan Zambi. Lead me home when my work is all done and my race here is won. Let me see by the light that thou hast shown. Take my hand, lead me on through the light, through the night. Take my hand, Tatan Zambi. Lead me on. Thank you. Yenge, 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 yenge. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, praise. Thank you very much. You know, I can feel the angels, you know, moving in my body if you sing. Eh? I love it. Eh? Thank you very much. Thank you. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Let your glory now fill this place. For we long to feel your presence. 